Hello everyone, Ardrome Harris here from DVDScopy.com. Um, I have a piece of uh, software here called FreeMake Video Converter and uh, as the name implies it converts videos. Uh, a lot of my competitor reviewers probably don't want me to tell you about this uh, but this is a free piece of software uh, that does a lot of stuff and it's free and I must admit it, it rivals a lot of the stuff uh, that you pay for but you know there are some downsides to it you know anytime you get anything free there's gonna always be a trade-off uh, whether it's in speed or some other hidden agenda but at any rate uh, this is a free make video converter and uh, if you look on the website uh, I gave you a link where you can download it the link is appearing on the screen right now go there and download it but please uh, read the article on the website before you install the software there are a few things uh, that you need to know about and I won't discuss them here but uh, take a look at the article and I think you'll get uh, an understanding of what I'm talking about okay uh, what can this software do well it can convert uh, video files that you may have on your PC or video files that comes from your camcorders your digital cameras and so forth YouTube and it can convert them to uh, quite a few uh, other video formats and even uh, convert them to formats that will play on uh, many portable devices such as iPods, iPads, Blackberries and so forth. It can also take uh, DVD movies and convert them into various video file formats and formats that will play back on your portable devices. It can, uh, it can download videos from YouTube and um, you can convert them to the several video formats. You can uh, extract audio from video. You can uh, do quite a few things with it. So let me walk you through it real quick so you get an idea of how to use it. So once you install it, this is what you'll be presented with. And let's say, for example, if we wanted to uh, convert a video into something. At the very top up here, uh, the, the plus symbols you see here, the orange plus icons, are actually having you add something. So if I Clicked on the video uh, icon, I'm adding video that I want to convert. If I click on the audio icon, I'm clicking, I'm importing audio, some audio file that I want to manipulate. Uh, DVD, I'm adding a DVD movie that I want to have converted. A photo that I want to manipulate. Uh, paste URL is basically where you're pasting a URL from one of the many video website properties such as YouTube, uh, Daily Motion, and so forth. Down at the bottom, is what you're converting to. So once you added something into here, then at the bottom you're just simply picking what you want to convert them to. Let's say, for example, if I import the video from a DVD into here, well, I can convert that uh, DVD to an AVI file, to an MP4, to an Apple format, to MWMV, to another DVD, to Blu ray, to an MP3, and MPEG, FLV, SWFs. Androids to Sony, it's a lot of stuff in Nokia, Samsung, so it does quite a bit as far as when it comes to uh, video and DVD conversions. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you uh, several things here and then you can play around with it and figure it out for yourself. But what this does, this gives you an idea to show you that this is really a quality piece of software to be free. So let's do a, a quick video conversion. So I have a video file sitting on my uh, desktop that I've already had prepared for this but to get there I can either navigate to it add a video click on this icon here and navigate to the location of that video or I can simply drag the video uh, into the panel here and there it is I have a small clip of a rush hour too alright now that that's in here I come to the bottom and say okay what do I want to convert that to uh, let's say if I want to convert that to um, something, a format that I can upload upload to my Apple iPod. So I'll click on Apple to Apple. And then it pulls up another window and I have an iPod 4, iPhone 4 rather. So there it is. I select iPhone 4 and then I say convert. And it also gives you an option here to automatically export this or upload it up to uh, iTunes pretty slick so I'll say convert and there you go the free make video converter goes through the process of converting 
that video to a format that will uh, play on my iPhone 4. This is free folks. Conversion completed. So we'll click OK. And uh, it's done. So if you want to see where it's at, just click on this little link here that says show in the folder. And it will open up the folder that it sent it to. And uh, there it is. In my case, this is in my, my videos folder in my, my documents folder. Okay. I'll close that out. And I'll close that out. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that by clicking that X right there. Let's say uh, DVD. Let's say if I wanted to uh, take a DVD movie and convert that into one of these formats. Well, again, I'll click on the DVD icon and navigate to the location where I have a DVD inserted in my computer DVD ROM or DVD uh, ROM. And I have Batman again, so I'll click on that, then click OK. And then uh, FreeMake Video Converter imports that DVD information into this control panel and there it is what FreeMake Video Converter does is that it automatically selects the movie for you on that DVD and we know this because look at the time duration the time duration for Title 1 is 2 hours and 19 minutes that's the movie everything else you see here on these other titles have short time durations this is just the extra stuff on the DVD that you probably don't want such as the director's commentary and so forth but if you want all that stuff just click on that I just want the movie so I'll click OK now once I've got it imported in here I come down to the bottom and I make a decision as to what I want that DVD movie converted onto to a blu-ray disc to a DVD let's click on DVD and see what that does alright so pretty slick now I'm saying OK uh, choose a destination that I want uh, this movie copied onto. So my DVD movie is sitting in my E drive. And uh, so if I put a blank DVD into the F drive, which I don't have one in there right now, I'm just demonstrating this to you, and I select that and then click burn. And at the same time, I can um, give the movie a my own title name. We'll leave it at the default. What's cool about this, uh, and I've just noticed this myself, is that uh, back on the previous window, it's saying that when I do this copy, it's saying that it's going to be a, a good quality DVD. If I burn it onto a standard 4.7 gigabyte uh, length disk. So now here we have a program that also does DVD to DVD copy. So, and it's free. All right, so it does that. Let's click on that get rid of it okay how about the uh, audio okay, now to do that you'll come down and say uh, to mp3 pulls up another window and the uh, bit rate of this mp3 is at 128 kilobits per second which is CD quality let's say if I want to bring it down to 92 or 96 well I can select that then click convert I can also um, export it to iTunes and I just noticed I made a slight mistake. I don't want mono, I want stereo. So I want to pick the 96 kilobits per second stereo, which is not listed. It says I'm going to add a preset if I wanted to. Okay, I guess I can, yes. So I'll select stereo. And the bit rate at uh, 44.1 40, kilohertz. And stereo at 96 bits per second, and click OK. Okay, so now. I'll click convert and the program will convert that uh, 128 kilobit per second uh, MPV file into one that's uh, a little lower that's 96 kilobits per second this might come in handy for those of you who uh, run internet radio stations like I do where you, uh, your servers won't accept a certain uh, bit rate so if a server only say accepts uh, 96 kilobits per second uh, music files then you can convert the ones that you have that are higher than that down to the split rate then upload them okay so you can click close now uh, pasting URLs now this is where you can actually download uh, videos from the various uh, video websites uh, such as uh, YouTube, Dailymotion, Vimo 
And to do that, the first thing you have to do is go to the website first. So if I pull up a web browser here, and let me minimize that so you can see it, see it here. I'll pull this in. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to select a video. I'll type in the uh, UFOs. And I will select a video. And once this um, URL is here, then all you gotta do is go back. You don't have to cut and pasting thing. It automatically imports the URL for you. So again, visit the website, then it come back to this program, then click paste URL, and there it is. Now you have the option of converting that YouTube video into anything that you see down here, like I showed you earlier. You can convert it to an AVI, MP4. Uh, you can actually have it extract just the audio from it. This this would be a pretty neat feature. Say if you went to a, a, a music website. Uh, let me demonstrate this for you. So we go back to YouTube, and I'm gonna type in uh, something I like. Let's say for example, uh, smooth jazz. And let's see what's here. Let's click on this one that says Smooth Jazz, and this is an actual song that's, that's going to play. It's by Greg Karukas. Now, let's say if I don't want that video, but I just want the audio. Well, I just go back to Free Make Video Converter. Let me get rid of this other one. And I'll say Paste URL. At the uh, YouTube URL to that uh, video, but I don't want the video. I just want the song. So you come down here and click to MP3. It brings up your window and you can select the bit rate. I like my songs at 128 kilobits per second, so I'm gonna pull this down and select 128 kilobits per second stereo. And then uh, this is the location where I want to save to. I'm gonna put it on my desktop. Okay. Then click convert, and the program takes that uh, video file very fast too from YouTube, and it converts it to an MP3 file. Conversion completed. So there we have it. We have FreeMake Video Converter. It's free. Uh, for download and installation but again please read my article because uh, it does come with a few caveats that you want to know about that will assist you in making the decision to download and install it it's not that bad but still educate yourself if we down anything that's free and this good okay so this is our drum Harris from dvdscopy.com thank you for listening